Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Bosch WFF 1800. It's got a pre washed light flashing three times. One, two, three. That's an error code, three flashes. I think it means that the pump has failed. Given that this Bosch WFF 2000 had the same error not long ago, I think I'll just drain it down and see what's there. It could be, given that the rubber's gone all weird inside the door, it could be one of these little green wipes that's gotten into the pump and gotten stuck, which I'm hoping it is, but in the meantime, it's bloody full of water, which is a pain. So the door's locked, so uh, let's turn it off. Here's a pre-washed light. It failed in a laundry cycle, but then it also failed on a rinse cycle. So let's get a screwdriver, get the front off, get drained down, and uh, go from there. So I'll put down a rag. I've got a bowl or a cup or something to catch the water. There's gonna be a lot of water. There'll probably be a few of these cups in it. Screwdriver opens those little tabs and then pops the center down the top. This one's pretty dirty. Such is life. Pull out this hose, give it a twist at the end to break the seal and then just open it up. And that fills up with water. It's going down pretty quick there. What you doing? So I'll transfer this over to another one. Want the stab soger? While it's draining, I'll take all the clothes out because they'll continue to drain. Oh, they're all soaked. Whoa, that's heavy. And wet. So the fault that I saw on the other machine was that the, um, the pump had a bit of play in the rotor shaft. And that play in the little pump rotor shaft meant that the pump would work intermittently. This is just an all-out fail, so I suspect there's something stuck in it. It's drained down now. The water is no water left in the drum. If you have a look, it's all dry, so there's probably just a couple of bowls left. It's not very exciting. It's just water draining. Oh, there we are. Looks like we're nearly there. That wasn't so bad. So then let's put this plug back in. And there'll be more water when I open this little hatch. This little drain plug. So let's put one cloth down there, tuck that in under there, and go for it. You see that? So I've got a cloth down there and a bowl underneath it. It's up on a step, this one. It's a bit stiff. Oh dear, dear. That's very tight. Oh man, I can't open that at all. I don't recommend putting the pliers on them, but you wouldn't roughly need to do it. Doesn't bode well. Oh, that's the start of a problem there. Okay, a bit of plastic broken off now. So really I need to get the two ends of that. And I don't know why it's so stiff. I'll wrap my hands in a bit of cloth. Louise, that's stiff, hey? If you wanted something like two pieces of wood, something to clamp them together and twist it. Let's see what I can do. So I've got some pieces of wood here. That should do it. If I can get one in on each side. It's a bit big. Can fit this way? Too big. And this one, maybe. Get the, get the grips on that. Will that work? camera in your way it doesn't always help there we go that's doing it that's it start it off all right god it's still awful stiff all right there we go so what i did there was i gripped gripped it between a claw of pieces of wood and then just put the pliers on that to hold it together 
it's just to break the seal it's very tight in there oh look at that that's exactly what i predicted so that's what happens somehow this piece of cloth could be a, i've seen a sock it gets it gets over the lip here and in that gap and there shouldn't really be a gap there but the rubber on this is knackered it just goes down that gap there down through the rubber hose um i can't see it there can we down through that coiled black rubber hose and there could be more of them in there you know and uh then gets stuck and blocks this little impeller blade but it feels okay it has a lot of play in it but it's worked fine for the last six years in this house and probably 15 years before that so then that's the problem pull it out this is what we wash every week it's all a bit knotted up there because it will have been spun around by that thing get any bits off it Put it back in. It's quite clean other than that. Now I've damaged this plastic. I won't tighten it up as fast this time. So that makes me think I need to do this rubber, replace that rubber, but it's been a few, two or three years now of washing these things and it hasn't needed it. So let's get this cover back on. And just clip the bottom in. There's three tabs there, or maybe five if you haven't broken off. Snap it in, turn them with the screwdriver. And that's it, it's good to go. Nappies full of water. Disgusting. So to illustrate that little wipe, it's just getting caught in there. Somehow, by magic, eventually it works its way down to the bottom, and that does happen. I've actually seen a pair of underpants at one point in time blocking these things. And that was quite big, but it had gotten in, it had gone down. I've seen a sock underpants. I'm not, I'm not even a washing machine repairman. I just happened to find problems. Let's turn it on. The error code should have cleared. Let's put it onto a 30 degree wash just to give it a bit of an action. The on light doesn't work on this one. Should work fine. That should be it. Thanks for watching. See you later.